Hello everybody, welcome back to my site. Um, today we're going to be talking a little bit about the M.2 Generation 3 protocols. And there's been some confusion about this because it's it's called Hyper, it's called uh, Ultra, it's called Epic, it's called Godzilla M.2. Don't worry about that. If the board supports M.2 Gen 3 X4, Four, then it will take advantage of the new Samsung 950 Pro M.2 SSD card. Um, now, ASRock is the, they have come out, they said that they're first to have it on a board. And um, I'm not saying they're not, but uh, they've, got, they've got it out there. So let me kind of see here. Let me see if I can pull it up here. I, I've got a few pages. Uh, that's not the right one. Let's go over here, ASRock. Okay, they call it the Ultra M.2 Gen 3 times 4, 32 gigabytes per second slot. Don't listen to the hype. All Gen 3 X4 slots will run at 32 gigabytes per second. This is blowing away the Gen 2 SATA 3, 6 gigabytes per second. So, which is really, really cool. And it's great, but... How does this help you? Well, the Z97 boards take advantage, Z97 and above, take advantage of this new protocol, the Gen 3. However, your board might not have it. Your board might have a Gen 2. Now, does that mean you're gonna, not going to be able to use this M.2 card? No, it is backwards compatible. So what you could do is put it into your current motherboard if you have an open M.2 slot. And then be able to, when you're ready, upgrade to the new boards. Uh, ASRock board, ASUS board, um, any board that you kind of like that actually will take advantage of this. And again, you're looking for an M.2 Generation 3 X4. Doesn't, doesn't, Ultra doesn't mean shit. Hyper doesn't mean shit. Um, everything in the front of that doesn't mean shit. It's just advertising to make you think that it's better than in the next guys. They're all using the Gen 3 protocols. So, the cost is coming down on these M.2 cards, which is great. That's going to be able to speed your system up. Um, the Samsung actually said that you can, from a rest period, you can be half a second and be open uh, using this new protocol. Because, and I, and I like the actually the way ASRock actually, they got a graph here. Let me go down to it. Right here. This graph actually shows that uh, the Gen 3 bypasses the Intel chip. It just goes right to the CPU. So your PCIe will slot, if you have it, um, will allow, or the M.2 Gen 3 will go right to your CPU and allow access to these, these speeds, bypassing the Intel chip, which is fantastic. Where the um, M.2 Gen 2 actually goes through the chip and is done. So as you can see, it's it's rather kind of neat. Now they kind of come down in here and they show, they're they're showing the uh, 32 gigabytes per second here, which is you know rather kind of cool that they give you this little this little graph here, Gen 2 versus Gen 3. Uh, Gen 2 we're getting 10 gigabytes per second, which is nice. That's a, that's a quick quick boot. Um, you know, the Samsung, they're, show, they're showing some really cool graphics here. Now, they're showing off their Extreme 6 line. I believe this is the one from Asus, or excuse me, ASRock, that actually takes advantage of this new this new protocol in their, their boards. So maybe holding off a little bit before you get a motherboard might be the best thing to do. But that's up to you if you're doing a build right now. Uh, maybe look at the ASRock board. The Asus went about it in a different way. I, I guess they're not ready to release a new board yet. Um, I've already complained about the delay of a of a uh, ROG um, Asus board for the 170 and uh, kind of got blasted out of the water for that. But what they've done is, as a mini ITX builder, this this is unacceptable. I can't I can't use this. But if you have a open slot PCIe slot in your system that you currently have now you will be able to use this daughter board stick it in there and then you will have the their hyper uh which was what they call it m.2 gen 3x 
um, accessibility. So to accessibility to those speeds. So it does give you some some uh, flexibility on your current generation of computer. So you don't have to actually upgrade the motherboard in order to get this to work. So um, there's some exciting stuff coming and memory, uh, not memory access, hard drive access has always been a bottleneck for com PC computing. And it looks like we're getting past that as our CPUs slowly grow. I mean, geez, it's been a while since we've, even with the new series of the i7, i5, um, the Skylakes, we're, we're, we're not really seeing a, a massive increase in performance. We're just seeing baby steps. So as the performance of our CPUs get throttled back, we need to find ways to make our systems faster. And by having SSD in there, M.2, and what today they said something about a optical, a new optical uh, uh, hard drive, Un unreal sci-fi stuff coming down the road. But this is stuff that will allow you to access that memory or those programs faster and everything you need to make your system lose one more bottleneck. So um, I hope this, this uh, takes away a little bit of the confusion that the M.2 is what you're looking for, Gen 3 times 4. Doesn't matter what they put in the front of it, it Gen 3 times 4. If it says that on the box, it's compatible with the, the Samsung 950 Pro SSD and uh, the other uh, Gen 3 S uh, M.2 is coming. So that's it, guys. Thumbs up, thumbs down. If you like this, please reply to uh, the video. I'll answer your questions to the best of my ability. And uh, let's keep building kick-ass systems. You guys have a great day. Oh, I don't know if I like that board. But, you know, I don't use it.